This is the MetaQuest 3 VR headset. These are Quest exclusives. This is the Sony PlayStation VR 2. And this is a Quest exclusive game being played with a PlayStation VR 2. Yeah, Alden knows what it's about. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Quest VR exclusive games on PC with your PlayStation VR 2. Why would you want to do that? Because it simply just looks better, brighter, sexier, therefore more immersive. And the PC VR Quest library is quite impressive and has some really wicked games that you're going to want to play if you already possess this and are PC capable. Let's do it. All right, so if you want to play MetaQuest PC VR exclusive games with your PlayStation VR 2, there are a few things you're going to need, obviously. So you'll need a VR ready Windows PC with Steam installed, the Steam VR app via the Steam app itself, the MetaQuest Link app, which does not require you to have a Quest headset, by the way, so you will not need any Quest headset to do this. Your Windows 10 or 11 PC is also going to need to have USB free ports. That's usually the blue ones, so free or above. And hubs aren't a guarantee and likely won't work. So if you're thinking hubs will do it, assume it won't. If you do go with that, you'll be testing and hoping. What you want is direct blue ports. Sometimes the front ports as well can work on the, the case on your PC itself, direct to the motherboard, not a hub. You will also need a meta account, whether that be created through your Facebook account or brand new you will need an account that, yes, Meta, aka Facebook, will hold. This is how they keep track of your library of content and so forth. Think of it the same way you have a Steam account, which you will also need a Steam account to use the Steam app. You will also need a Meta account to use the Meta Questlink PC app as well. It's their version of Steam or VR, so to speak. I mean, it even has achievements in there, as you'll see later. So, yeah. And you'll also need an app called Revive VR. In addition to obviously needing a PlayStation VR 2, you will need the PlayStation VR 2 PC adapter. With that, you're going to then set up your PlayStation VR 2 and the PC adapter to your PC with the accompanying PlayStation VR 2 PC app, which you'll get in Steam as well. Now, I have a video for that as well if you want to see the setup process for how to get your PlayStation VR 2 set up successfully on your PC. And if you have problems with connecting the controllers as well, I've got a video for that. So find those in the usual places and I'll link to them as well. Another thing you might need is audio cables or is it 3.5 M audio cables. So a bit like the headphone cables that you'd get. If you're not getting any audio on your PC, you'll get cables like this. You'll stick it into your PlayStation VR 2 headset and then you'll connect the output to your PC's mic out or aux out cable input. And that will give you sound in case you're not getting it while using this method by default. You also might need this ground loop adapter, which will prevent any buzzing or weird artifacts from it being connected directly to the device. And this is useful for a whole bunch of other things, especially if you're doing any kind of capture or um, content creation stuff, but you might even need it if you're not doing any content creation or recording stuff. So I'm including that information in there because I was getting buzzing otherwise and I wasn't getting any sound without the two things. So again, all of these will have links in the normal places in the description so you can get up and running quickly and easily. You'll also need to subscribe and like this video if you want more valuable content like this and more regularly. Trust me, it really helps. It takes about two seconds for you to do, but means all the world to independent creators like myself. So I appreciate you for doing so. Let's continue. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is head over to steampowered.com as you see here, and then you're going to download the Steam app most of you will have done this already, so it doesn't really matter, but I figured I'd put it in there anyway. You'll see right at the top here, it says install Steam. You'll click that, you'll do your thing. And remember, you need to be on Windows when you're doing it. Not compatible with the Mac, but install that. Once you have that installed from a million Windows here, you will have this Steam app and it will look something like this. And what you want to do is search for Steam VR. You can see it's free. You'll install that. And then you also want to search for PlayStation VR2 app and install that. Once they're installed, they'll look a little like this. As you can see, mine's is running currently because I was demonstrating earlier. And the PlayStation VR app looks like this as well, which is also running. And I'll show you those actually real quickly. So this is how this Steam VR app will look. Now I'll have to zoom in, I suppose. 
and it will show you your headset and your controllers and they will be lit when they're connected. The latest version at the time of recording is version 296 apparently. As far as the PlayStation VR 2 app is concerned, it will look like this when it's all connected up. So don't forget obviously to turn on your power button underneath and then connect your controllers. Now you can have issues with the controllers sometimes, which I've got a video for. And even now the right controller is doing the right controller thing as you can see here. If this occurs, you might have to remove the device as I just did or you might, I might not have recorded that part. Remove the device, add it again. And now you see they're both connected here. So all things are connected up to date. Up to up to date means it's connected, shows a battery level. And that means that part of your setup is done. Next up, we're going to want to be installing the Meta Quest Link app. So you have to download it first. You just use Google or whatever search engine you prefer. Go to the valid page and it's going to say something along the lines of download the app. When you download the app, don't be alarmed when you find that it's called Oculus Setup. If it's called that because that is still the same app. It's just still legacy named, I guess, based on the Oculus tech of the original Oculus headset as opposed to the new name of Quest. But ain't no bonds about it. This is the Meta Quest Link app. As it says there, you're going to need four gigabytes of space on your computer. So make sure you have that as well. I don't remember if you get to select where it installs, so you're probably going to need that space on your C drive, but I think you can select where it's at and where it goes to. Once this installed, it's going to look a little bit like this when you open it. And this is how the icon looks right there, as you see, MetaQuest Link. If we expand it here, we see there's a whole bunch of stuff that I've already got installed. But the main thing is to get it installed. And once you do, it will look like this. And you're going to also need to log in with your MetaQuest account. So if we go into the store here, you can see these are going to be the things that are valid for you to buy. And pretty much any of these are going to work with this. Pick whatever you're feeling. I'll throw in some recommendations for you guys. Library is going to be what you already have available to you to download and to install. That's my list of stuff here, including Vader Immortal is definitely a recommendation. Obviously, Asgard's Wrath will be something I'd recommend. Long Echo is really good. Republic of VR, I think this one was free. I don't know why though. I mean, there's a whole library of stuff, even more than what I actually own. And you'll want to go into the settings and see if there's any changes you want to make in there, obviously. And you can also change the location of where things are installed and so forth and so on. So once you've got that and you've downloaded the games that you want from your library, by simply clicking on them, as you see here, it says install, shows you how much space they'll need. And be wary, some of them take more space than others. Like for instance, Asgard's Wrath wants 98 I was going to say 90, it looks like it was 142 gigabytes of space. You're going to want a bunch of space to make sure so. So bear in mind those things. Also, you notice that they have achievements here as well, which is pretty cool. And that should still work with this system, I believe. So yeah. So once you've got all your apps and stuff installed that you want to use with the system, next thing to do is to install and download Revive VR. So you can Google that or whatever your favorite search engine is. Hashtag not sponsored, right? In this case, it's going to be a download from GitHub. And again, I'll put the links to everything. How many times have I said it again? So it's github.com libra vr slash revive. And you can see here, it tells you what you need as well. And at number two here, you see download the latest revive installer. I'm going to click that. That's going to take you to the latest one, which seems to be March of 2023. And you just want to download this one here, revive installer XE. It's like 55.7 megabytes. Once you've done that, go through the install process for it, obviously. I think that one insists on installing or works best being installed in the C drive. So just be mindful of that potentially. Once you've got it installed, it's going to look like this icon here and you're going to see the revive dashboard. Now if we expand it, you can see it's a lot bigger here. And these are all of the Quest PC VR exclusive things that I have currently installed. And another important thing I want to mention here is that we want to have the Meta Link app running. Quest Link app running. We want to be having Steam running at this point and Steam VR before opening up the Revive dashboard to make sure that it populates the games and functions properly from your library. So once we know that Quest is, or well Quest, I should say, that PlayStation VR 2 is connected properly here, as we see here, controllers, let's wake them up. We can see they're both connected in the PlayStation VR 2 app here. You can then open up the Revive VR dashboard here and then run the game you want to play. But click once, because if you click more than once, even doesn't give it like a, you can see that it didn't really kind of give any clear indication that it's actually like started. So you might think it isn't starting. 
I clicked more than once thinking it wasn't started and I end up three versions of the game running at the same time. So you don't want to do that. So just click once and then be patient. And you'll see that it pops up here. And then we'll put on the headset. We'll grab the controllers here that I've got on my charging deck and uh, would highly recommend the charging dock for PlayStation VR 2 if you're going to be using it a lot. It's not the longest battery controller ever and it doesn't use rechargeable batteries. It uses an internal rechargeable battery. So you need to have this on here when you're not using it so it's constantly charged. And I'll link to this as well for you guys to grab. And as you can see, you are now playing as God's Wrath 1 on the PC, the Meta Quest exclusive with the PlayStation VR 2's brighter, more colorful lens and lower compression since it's a wired device and not a wireless hybrid and it works perfect as you can see and I tell you it looks so much more colorful as well like so much more brighter it's funny compared to the Quest playing it with the Quest it almost reminds me of almost like playing PlayStation VR 1 where it has this kind of snuff movie snuff movie quality but this this is a uh, this looks beautiful you know it works great as you can see I'll see if I can get hold of her to do a high five she might not want to though fist bump yeah thumbs up instead all right so this looks fantastic and just to show you guys it's not just the one game because it was the same game i showed you again here this fun republic vr here which i think is available on the steam actually but that's probably not an exclusive let's do actually lone echo that was an exclusive one public vr I'm pretty sure it's on steam this one's an exclusive i believe lone echo is an exclusive for quest so that'd be a better test i ain't gonna run anything more than the menu card. i never played this one but i just want to show you guys that it's fully working here by Ready at Dawn, which I think unfortunately Ready at Dawn got closed down, didn't they? Was it by Sony or something? But you can see here it's all there, you know, clearly working. And finally it's become Vader, or at least Vader in a menu. Now I've never actually run or tested this one before, so I'm just, you know, assuming it's gonna work because everything else has worked. So this is like a live test at the same time of a tutorial here. And here we go. It's, it's, it's perfect, look at it. Ah, so these, the triggers are your fingers. Quite sure what grabbing, grabbing does on its own. All right, may the force be with you guys. Oh, actually, that's wrong, isn't it? Vader's not into the force, is he? At least not the light side of the force. Now you've got your PlayStation VR 2 primed and ready to play Quest PC VR exclusives. And you subscribed and liked the video as a thank you already. Check out the video on the screen. It's gonna show you even more cool VR related just VR gaming this or is it on this side and say hi to your mum for me yeah